if we draw what our circle would look like if we put that up there it told us that Lou is the last one so we're gonna put Lou close to um, this origin but in the wrong direction and then it says str is one of the later ones so we're gonna just put str over here just so that we can say okay we know Lou is last we know str is somewhere before Lou okay and what they're telling us is that on a plate we have 500 colonies and this plate contains glucose, streptomycin, and arginine. And we have 500 on this plate. So we have 500 colonies and this was plated on glucose, streptomycin, and arginine. So in regards to these four genes, R, GLAC, LU, and STR, we can actually figure out something about the genotype already of these 500 colonies. So if they're plated with glucose, great, they can always use glucose. If they're plated with streptomycin, 500 of them, this is an antibiotic, so that means they must be STR resistant because they were able to grow on a plate that had that on it. Okay. And what about arginine? What does it tell you about arginine? Arginine's on the plate. So if arginine's on the plate, it could either, oh, I don't know, can you guys, have you guys not been able to see this for like, whatever, okay. Sorry. Um, so if arginine is on the plate, that doesn't tell us anything because they could either have been arg plus or minus. It didn't matter because they could have either have made it or not and arginine would have been would have been fine. So we don't know in terms of arginine, but it's missing the other amino acid that we care about, which is leucine. So if it's not on the plate and they can survive, that's telling us they must be Lu plus. And then in terms of lac, we don't see anything about lac. We only see glucose. So they could be plus or minus with regard to lac as well. So what we know of these 500 colonies is that they're definitely re resistant to STR and they definitely have Lu plus. So now we're trying to figure out what are the genotypes in regards to the ARC plus minus and the LAC plus minus. So now we need to figure out ARG plus and arg plus minus with lac plus minus so just write out all of the different genotypes that those two can uh, have together okay so all I did was say if I can be either plus or minus with arginine and plus or minus with lac that means I have four potential genotypes and they are plus 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 minus minus plus minus minus so that's all i did right here i'm not doing anything with this information yet i just am writing it off to the side okay so these are all the possible genotypes from the 500 colonies so that's part of question a and now we need to figure out how many are in each so that's when we're going to actually use this number from the other plates that they gave us so they gave us three other plates. So they um, did replica plating on three different plates. And this one has just glucose. Oh, sorry that this is like that. Um, just glucose. This one has no glucose and just has lactose. This one has lactose plus arginine. This has 90 colonies. This is 85, and this has 135. Okay. So similar to what we just did here. These 500 were replica plated. So that means of the 500, 135 were able to survive on this plate. Of the 585 here, and then same thing for the 90 here. So we need to figure out what's going on with respect to the genotype based on how many are on here. 
So here, this 135, if you were able to live with only glucose, and we're looking at what happens with arginine and lactose, that means you must have been able to make arginine because you weren't provided it, so you must be arg plus. But this doesn't tell us anything about lactose. They can be plus or minus. They use glucose as a sugar, so we're going to say plus minus. Same thing over here. We have lactose on this plate, 85. So of this 85, what do we know in regards to the arginine and the lac? No amino acid was provided, so they must have been able to make it on their own. LAC was provided, and they were able to use it because they did not include glucose, so that means they must be LAC+. Plus. Finally, let's go over here. Lactose and arginine. So if they used lactose, they must be LAC+. Plus. They provided arginine, so that means these ones could either make it or not. So they're either plus or minus. Okay, so the only one out of these three plates that we have a definite number for is right here, our ARG plus, LAC plus. Because there's no uncertainty here, there's only the pluses. So that means 85 of our colonies 85 are distinctly ARG plus, LAC plus. So we're going to put 85 here. Okay. Now, if we're trying to figure out what number are ARG plus, LAC minus, what we are going to do is some clever math. So we see here this plate it has two types of colonies. So this has arg plus lac plus and arg plus lac minus. So that's what we're really saying when we're saying plus minus here is that there's two distinct genotypes. This one only has arg plus lac plus. So if we subtract these two numbers, we'll be left with the number that are specifically arg plus lac minus. And that's 50. 135 minus 85 is 50. And for those of you who know that I'm really bad at math, you know for a fact that I just looked at my paper to make sure I knew how to do that. Okay, now that I'm done with my aside, go over here. Once again, plus plus, that's for fact. Then over here, arginine plus minus lac plus. Same thing we did here, let's break this down to what those genotypes actually are. So we have bacteria on this plate that are arg plus lac plus and arg minus lac plus. Okay. This, once again, matches up with one of the genotypes here. So we're going to subtract, and that 5 is going to correspond with the genotype that doesn't match up. So that's going to be arg minus lac plus. So 90 minus 85 are going to be arg minus lac plus, and that's 5. Now, we're left with arg minus lac minus, and that's nowhere on here. So let's just say, okay, if we were to see arg minus lac minus, that means we would need arginine, and glucose because they can't use lactose and they need arginine so they would need arginine and glucose okay and so if we remember our master plate had glucose streptomycin and arginine all of them are str r okay so what we can do if there, these are the only four possible genotypes, and we know that there are 500 total colonies, then we can add up these three numbers, and then subtract it from 500, and that'll tell us how many have this last genotype. So if we do the math, and by that, 
you do the math, 85 plus 50 plus 5, 140, yep, 140. And then we do 500 minus 140 to get 360, okay? So now we know how many of the 500 colonies correspond to each one of these genotypes. And that's part A. For part B, I'll take you through one part of it where we have to find the recombination frequencies. So what we did before when we uh, were talking about crossovers in chromosomes, we drew out the parentals and we saw how, that they, would, how they would cross and what would lead to recombinance. And that's what we're going to do here too. We're going to draw out the F minus and draw out the HFR. We're only going to do it in regards to two.